Howdy, y'all. We're talking about three books today. One is Doomsday Clock, so you know, I got a lot to say on that. I'm tired of the party again, but the party's still going on, and we're cooking it and dying again. What, what? And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, anyway, um, and I'd like to thank y'all for watching me. Yeah. I'd like to thank Cryptic Cowboy, Bucky, and all the other people who watch me. Except... Nah, just playing with you. I, I have no one. Everybody's cool with me. As Ozzy Mendius said, I have no enemies. He said it. Look it up. First book. Not, not the first, but it's an actual Watchmen. It's not in before Watchmen or any of that. He said it. Anyway. And also, I'm playing, um, I'm playing the latest Kingdom Hearts, so that might get uploaded on the channel, too. I'm not sh-, sh Tomorrow's the shave, so, yeah. Deal with it. Um, so anyway, to Superman. Action Comics. Still a Booster Gold issue. I hope they don't kill Booster off. And I loved how they homaged Alan Moore in the story that almost happened. Look it up. It's with Captain Marvel. And they did Kingdom Come instead. Which is a great book in itself. I enjoyed it very much. Um... I forgot to read Jason Inman's book, but that will get read. It's on the list. Um, yeah, so I like how they showed what happens to an unsolidified time at the end. Spoilers, by the way. But like I said, I'm like the last guy to review this, so. You know. I hope they don't kill Booster off. But it was a really enjoyable book otherwise than that. Yeah. Good book. Want to save that for last. So I'm doing Spider-Man next. Um, Spider-Man. They made the personalities of Mayday... I call her Mayday. Annie May. Mayday's the other one. The one they had back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Not that you can't, but that's who it is. Um, they differentiate their personalities. It was very interesting. Because the lizard obviously needs help with this son. And, yeah. That would obviously fall under Spider-Man territory. Um. Otherwise than that, Unusual book. Let's put it that way. Not bad. Not good. Just unusual. <laughs> I think it made my grandma smile. Yeah. Because most of the Marvel books do because they take place in New York. Which is in our real reality. So well done, Spider-Man crew.
Oh, and this, by the way, is one of the books that... I would love to see Doomsday Clock cross over with. If, if Marvel finally agrees to cross over. So, now that we're thinking about Doomsday Clock, let's talk about it. Doomsday Clock. I liked it. Um, major spoilers. The comedian returns, but I agree with Sal and Tiffany's theory that that this is going to be an illusion created by Ozzy Mendius, a delusion, whatever. It's not going to be the actual comedian. That's too close to what I did in my story. Although I did send it to DC, they're not gonna, yeah, they're not gonna go with my idea. One, Rorschach's not stuck in the Speed Force, and two, they they didn't show any of the machines, so it can't be a clone. It can't be. They have no interest in doing that right now. I think DC's thinking about going the obvious route and making them a. Uh, delusion. I like that the I like the mime and marionette flashback. I I also liked um when they were robbing the bank how you met the lady. One this takes place in ninety four or ninety two, I forget which, but I was about that age in ninety two. And, yeah, without getting too personal, it, it just reminded me of me. When the banker wanted to get rid of her, I, I wanted, I hope, I hope Matt Hatton would have vaporized his ass, <laughs> but he didn't. Um, I think Ozzy's gonna fail. Big time, because he really doesn't have that much of a connection to her. Mime and Marionette are going to be pissed off because um, their child's going to get vaporized with everybody else. Now, I, I originally put the Watchmen chapter in because, let's face it, that idea was a long time coming. And... In the Marvel vs. DC crossover that I wrote. So I, I'd like you to discuss in the comments below. How you think Marvel and DC. Could cross over using this story. This story in particular. Maybe with this story. Like I said. Or. Did they slip. Did they already slip one by us? It's up to you. But anyway, I'd, I'd like to hear your opinion. On Marvel, DC, anything. Well, anything comics. Not political or or personal. But, yeah. Um, I, I don't think his, his plea with... His hope that Mime is... Mime's gonna... mean anything to Manhattan. I don't think that's gonna be. I think... He's gonna be sadly disappointed. Yeah. So... That's my opinion on what's going to happen in the next one. I mean, they could clone him. They could bring him back. If they don't, if someone 
spill the beans like I just did, they probably have clone in the back of their minds, too. I mean, I watched some videos on this, because I watch more YouTube than I do TV. But, um, I watch some videos on this, mainly Rob Kors, Comics Explain. Comic, ex, comics explained. Um, he he got it right. People in that state make connections with everything, and that's what my brand new character did. In in the Marvel DC crossover that I wrote. If you'd like to hear more about that, too, let me know. And until then, this has been your pal Bob, signing out. Again, if I did a good job, let me know.